Humoral Immune Response Objective To learn the mechanism of the humoral immune response. Humoral immune responses are immunological responses that are mediated by antibodies. During these responses, the immune system will trigger specific B cells to proliferate and secrete large amounts of specific antibodies to combat the pathogens. Let's take a more in-depth look at the entire process of the humoral immune response. An immune response begins once an antigen enters the body. The immune system will trigger specific B cells whose purpose is to produce large amounts of certain antibodies. The humoral immune response will begin with an activation phase. During the activation phase, a macrophage, one of the cells of the immune system, will engulf the invading antigen through phagocytosis. Inside the macrophage, a new vesicle called a phagosome will form. The phagosome will fuse with a lysosome. Inside the lysosome, digestive enzymes will break down the antigen particles, which will combine with class 2 major histocompatibility complex MHC proteins and move to the macrophage's outer surface. Microphages with antigen fragments on the outer surface are referred to as antigen-presenting cells. Another cell, the T helper cell or TH, will recognize the antigen particles on the macrophage and then become activated. The receptors on the T cell will bind to the class 2 MHC protein and the antigen particles present inside it. After binding, the macrophage will release the chemical cytokine interleukin-1, which will stimulate T helper cells, causing them to release interleukin-2. The activated T cells will divide, meaning there will be an increase in numbers. The activated T helper cells will stimulate B cells, which will differentiate into plasma cells. The plasma cells will produce antibodies in large numbers, which will then flood the bodily fluids. The newly produced antibodies will bind to antigens and destroy them. Summary The humoral immune response is an immunological response that is mediated by antibodies through T helper cells and B cells. Interleukins secreted by T helper cells will stimulate B cells. B cells will differentiate into plasma cells that produce large amounts of antibodies for combating the pathogen.